If you create any type of online content for your business and you want to do it faster and smarter, this video interests you. Creating content online is key for every business to grow. It's in fact what I personally do. I write content on Twitter and I use YouTube. And I have realized that creating content on Twitter is much faster, of course, than creating these YouTube videos. So I started asking myself, okay, what if I could use my Twitter as a test to see if the content performs well? And if it does, I'm gonna create a YouTube video out of it. And honestly, I'm quite lazy and I always forgot to do exactly that, to check my Twitter, check the stats and then, oh, this performed well. And then I'm going to create a video out of it. I always failed. And then I asked myself, okay, maybe I can automate this process. I did a little bit of research and I found a way. This automation is going to allow us to see all our tweets and the ones that have performed well so we can create other types of content. Okay, so the setup here is pretty simple. On Notion, we're gonna be needing one database, such as this one, just with one title property, so we can put here the name of the tweet, so the tweet itself, two columns for the stats, and one column for the URL. This one is critical because it's going to serve us for another automation, we will see in a minute. Okay, so once we have this, we have everything ready to go to make. This is the automation tool that, by the way, I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video so, so you can also use it. And here on Make, this is the automation that I have created. It is very simple. The trigger is Twitter. That, by the way, if you haven't linked your Twitter account to Make, you will just have to follow the steps, sign in to Twitter from Make, give it access, and that is it. Then the automation that we want is the one that is called search tweets. This is gonna be the, the first step of our automation. And this is the way that I'm using it. I am running this automation daily at 23.59 and I am checking all the tweets minus the replies. So I just want the, the original tweets. So all the tweets that I have tweeted throughout the day. And I am using this search phrase for this. In here, you will just have to modify your username and that is it, and you will get it. And then what the rest of the search phrase is doing is filtering out the replies and then giving it the date range that we want to search tweets from. Until now and since now minus one day. Okay, so it's the last 24 hours. So once we have this ready, we click OK. And then the next step that we want is basically to create a database item. So we will find the database that we have already prepared in Notion. And here is how I have set it up. In the title property, which is this one, I am writing the tweet. And then in the URL, since in the automation I cannot get the full URL, I needed to write this part in the beginning and then bring the tweet ID, which is the, the part that is after this slash which is basically this one over here. Okay, so this all the setup that we need in the first automation. And what this is going to do is to get us here, all the tweets and the URL, that's it. So now, how am I separating those posts that performed well and those that didn't with a second automation? So this automation, I am running once every week. So every Sunday, I am, I am running it. The reason for this is to allow some time for the stats to gather, so for the likes to come, for the retweets to come, so I can have the more real picture of the stats of a retweet. And the process is very similar. The first step of the automation is going to be the search tweets step. And here we have tweaked it a little bit. This is practically the same until now, since seven days ago, this is this minus seven over here, and with a minimum likes, these faves here, of 20. So I'm just gonna search for those tweets that have had more than 20 likes, that for me, this is a high performing tweet, and that's it. This is all set up. And then the next step, so we can write the stats in the right tweet in our Notion database, we need to search for that tweet. And we will do it in this step over here, in the search objects step within the Notion automation. This is the same database as before. And we are gonna search by the URL that contains the tweet ID. This is the same as we've used before. And if you can see it here, it's all these numbers, okay? And here it is very important that the text contains the tweet ID. That is not, that the text matches the tweet ID. And that is it. This step is going to find the tweet 
and if it exists, I have built this filter over here that the page ID exists. But by the way, that this is very important because if not, the automation is going to fail in the moment that it's going to try to search for a tweet and that it doesn't exist. So just in case to make it error proof, I, I build this filter. And then the third step is going to update that database items. Once we have found it in the step number two, we're gonna tell it, okay, this is the page ID that I want to edit. And I'm just gonna write the retweets and the likes of the tweet. And how is this in Notion? We have here on the high performing tab that is basically the same database, but just ordered by the number of likes. And here we have the information that comes from the automation. We can see all of these are over 20 likes. Those ones before I was doing with 15, but it was not enough. So I decided to move it to 20. And then how am I using this? As you can see, I have linked this database with my YouTube videos database and with my blogs database. The blog, I'm not really using, so we can forget about it. But the YouTube video, I am using. So whenever I see some tweet that can be YouTube worthy, uh, I'm gonna create the YouTube video from here and I'm gonna have the tweet linked over here as context. So then I'm gonna use that tweet or that thread as the base for the YouTube video script. And that video, I can be 50% sure that it's going to perform better than any of the other videos because that content has already performed well with my audience on Twitter. So I'm maximizing the return of the time that I'm investing on creating the YouTube video. That basically takes like one full day. Now, so far I have just this working with Twitter. I haven't found a way to really do it with Instagram. I personally don't use it, but I was trying to search for a solution for some of my clients. And I know that you can also bring the YouTube stats into Notion, but this wouldn't really fulfill the purpose that I want, which is to save time in creating YouTube videos. So, so far this has been the best way that I have had to test content first and then create it in a platform that takes me considerably much work time. So if you wanna see how I continue this workflow in creating the full YouTube video, I have a full video explaining that exact process that you can find over here. And with this couple of videos, you're gonna have the full workflow of creating content on Twitter and repurposing the highest performing tweets to YouTube and following the full YouTube process. So that is it for this time. And as always, hasta la próxima.